Autoimmune disease in our dogs and cats. This is where the immune system, it's attacking itself. There's very few treatments except for the conventional ones with a whole host of side effects. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a brand new alternative treatment, which could really help your dog or cat. Are you looking to learn more about natural pet health and wellness? You've come to the right place. Click the link to subscribe to Veterinary Secrets. Your pet's immune system, that includes white blood cells, antibodies, other defenses that are there to fight off foreign invaders. This includes bacteria and viruses. But in autoimmune disease, the immune system is confused. Instead of fighting off this foreign invader, it can start to attack different parts of the body, you know, such as the skin. Some of the autoimmune diseases our pets can get. Immune-mediated hemolytic anemia, the red blood cells are being attacked. Immune-mediated thrombocytopenia, here the platelets are being attacked. Some of these guys can get polyarthritis. You have the immune system attacking the joints. The serious immune disease known as lupus. You can have systemic lupus where multiple areas of the body are being affected. You can have discoid lupus, this horrible autoimmune disease affecting the skin. You can get these big chunks or discoid chunks all over the skin. Conventional treatments such as the corticosteroids, i.e. prednisone, can be effective, but it comes with a whole host of side effects. Increased drinking, increased urination, increased appetite. Some of these animals, they can become diabetic as a result of the steroids. Other animals can have a thing called iatrogenic or drug-induced Cushing's disease. Sometimes the stronger immunosuppressives, such as cyclophosphamide, need to be used. And that's one of the chemotherapeutics used in some of the cancer treatments. It can cause immunosuppression, decreased blood cell counts, internal bleeding. You might see diarrhea, blood in the urine, difficulty breathing, seizures and tremors. I'm going to show you five alternative treatments, but number five, it's a brand new alternative treatment. Surprisingly, it's a dewormer. Number one, this is green tea extract with the immune modulating ingredient, EGCG. It's been successfully used for autoimmune disease and in particular immune mediated polyarthritis. The medicinal ingredient EGCG, it's a flavonoid and a really potent anti-inflammatory. Standard dog and cat dose, one milligram per pound twice daily. Number two, a very sweet root. It's licorice root. Licorice root, it's considered the natural corticosteroid. Because of that, it's often used for pets that have allergies. The active ingredient in licorice root, glycinuric acid, it may even suppress T cell proliferation. And that's what we can see in autoimmune disease. A typical dog and cat dose, a half a mil of tincture per 20 pounds of body weight twice daily. Number three, a Chinese medicinal herb. This is Romanian root. Romanian root, it's really important in Chinese medicine. And it's one of the few alternative products which has some great research showing to be beneficial for autoimmune disease. And what's happening in autoimmune disease, often you're getting these things called immune complexes. Think of the immune complex. This is the antigen, I, this piece of protein, it's circulating within your pet's blood. Along comes this little white guy, this is the antibody. It attaches to it, like, oh, it's a foreign invader. Even though it's something that's completely normal, it doesn't need to attack it, and it does. So you have this big chunk of material, it's lodging in the kidneys, causing all the secondary inflammation. These immune complexes, they're the ones that are triggering this autoimmune kidney disease. And remaining a root in particular, it's been shown to be beneficial for that in terms of decreasing that level of inflammation, decreasing that kidney damage. A standard dog and cat dose, two milligrams per pound of body weight twice daily of the dried root. Number four, the medicinal ingredients in the cannabis plant, specifically CBD, cannabidiol. The cannabinoids, they've been well studied for their immune modulating properties. CBD or cannabidiol, it's been shown to suppress cytokine production and because of that it's been called a great potential natural immunosuppressive. It's incredibly safe, minimal to no side effects and if you have a dog or cat that has an autoimmune disease, really consider CBD. A standard starting dose of our product, Dr. Jones's Ultimate CBD for Dogs and Cats, it is three milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight twice daily. Number five, this is the old animal dewormer. We've talked a lot about it. This is Ibamec. The name of the drug, it's Ivermectin. A study published last May showed that Ivermectin, it protected against autoimmune encephalomyelitis. That's inflammation of the brain. The study showed that Ivermectin, it was specifically beneficial because it was able to affect and modulate T-cell responses. T-cells, they're a subset of white cells. 
and they're a key part of your pet's immune system. But in autoimmune disease, they're becoming confused and they're attacking your pet's own body. And the fact they're able to see that ivermectin was beneficial, and that is huge. I recently watched a short video where a person had autoimmune disease and they were able to successfully treat themselves with ivermectin. And because of that, they were able to get off these stronger immunosuppressives. Ivermectin is working on people. It's probably going to work on our animals. But at what dose, you may be wondering. Unfortunately, there's nothing published yet giving specific doses. But what we can do is extrapolate from other dog and cat diseases and give you approximate doses. There's a parasitic disease called Demodex, and in particular, generalized demodicosis. Not many options to treat it, but one option is ivermectin. And for those animals, the ivermectin dose is 0.3 to 0.6 milligrams per kilo. For most animals, we would calculate it at 0.4 mg per kilo. So an animal that is 10 pounds, that is 5 kilos, they would be getting 2 milligrams of ivermectin. That is 0.2 cc's of the injectable ivermectin. But you're giving the injectable ivermectin, you're actually giving it to your pet orally. So you're drawing it up out of something like this, this little red top syringe, but you don't inject it into your pet. You're then giving it orally. And then be the possible suggested dose regimen for a pet that has autoimmune disease. The one big caveat is there are certain breeds that have a gene deficiency called MDR1 gene deficiency, and it's not safe for them to get the ivermectin. The five most common ones, this includes the standard collie, the Australian Shepherds, the Whippets. Shetland Sheepdogs, German Shepherds. And many of the time I would be seeing these dogs in veterinary practice, and they're on some of these stronger immunosuppressives, getting these just horrible secondary side effects. We're kind of stuck because we're thought there's just no other alternative option. Turns out now, maybe there is. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of Alternative Treatments of Autoimmune Disease in our dogs and cats. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign for notifications, and then you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.